My name is Victoria Herrera. This is a video for my ABE 170 class, Science, Technology, and the Environment, at the University of Arizona, taught by Stephen Poe in fall semester 2012. Hitler's Third Reich regime is not typically credited with any positivity. Nazi Germany, Germany has been associated with murder, injustice, and racism. But there were highly funded scientific programs in Nazi Germany that often don't get much credit. In fact, many scientists can agree that sometimes cruelty exists really well with, co with good science. lung cancer. Social Darwinism played a huge part in what the scientists of Nazi Germany were trying to do. Social Darwinism was based on Darwin's theory of evolution, that taking the animals with the top qualities and breeding them together would make those qualities thrive on. It was a natural selection process. The Nazis were trying to use this theory in order to make the Aryan race thrive and outshine all other races. We know that Nazi scientists focused on trying to strengthen the Aryan race and weaken all other races. But there is some debate wh over whether or not the Jewish people, whom the Nazis were trying to eliminate, are a race or simply a culture or a religion. This is kind of an anthropologic question, but it can be considered scientific as well. Hitler attempted to solve this by saying that Aryan peoples were people who were German in their blood. And so if you did not fit into the strict definition of German blood, of blonde hair, of blue eyes, then you were considered to be a different race. And so that way, if you were a racial Jew or a non-racial Jew, you were all simply lumped together as being a different race. This brings us to the topic of eugenetics. Eugenetics are a scientific idea of improving a culture and basically the human race as a whole. Eugenetics focus on trying to take the strongest and the best people and have them procreate in order to maintain the human race, get the best traits out there, etc. It's very strongly linked to social Darwinism. In a lot of Nazi work, eugenetics are called racial hygiene, which sounds really harsh and insensitive to say, but at the time, Eugenetics were actually a really common practice. Officials thought they were taking the most important, most skilled people and having them procreate for future generations in order to make the German race thrive and succeed. Of course, now we know that that's not fair and that's not right. But at the time, their government considered that to be the right way to do things. It was a very scientific process and people had to be chosen to be allowed to get married and to be allowed to have children. Some Nazi policies included forced breeding, forced sterilization, and of course simply taking doctors out to look at new babies and deciding whether or not these babies were considered right. Did they have the right size nose? Did they have the right size skull? There are actually charts out there showing what the Germans looked for in children. In conclusion, under Hitler, Nazi Germany had many policies that were racist and unfair and cruel. Their social Darwinistic beliefs that led them into racial hygiene and other horrible policies such as this were not good. But their science was actually very advanced for their time. The question that remains today is all about morality. I know that many people would say that the Nazis were immoral and wrong, but not many people would say that they were bad scientists. In fact, they were the first to notice that tobacco caused lung cancer, which is an important factor that we know today about smoking. It's very interesting that cruelty can coexist with such great science.